All right, I'm doing a video on another box design that we have. Um, this system is actually going to another country. Um, this 24 volt system, we, we've been doing quite a bit of these 24 volt systems. Um, we have something that we've been doing for a while. Um, we have what we call a filter system in here. And also what it does is if you look, the water actually will come back and drain back into the tank. Now, you know, a lot of people use a separate bubbler or a separate um, dry tank. This actually it's you know does two things at the same time. It's also a filter to keep some of the you know the KOH or uh, sodium hydroxide whatever that you're using um, out of the engine. Um, this filter I would probably recommend replacing maybe every 30,000 miles or so just depending if it gets kind of a <clears throat> dirty you know you, you just want to replace it. Also, we have a 2.5 uh, gallon reservoir, which is, we use a ton of these. Um, usually goes for about a week before you have to add water. So once a week, you would just add water to the system. And of course, there's our PWM in the back. Um, that's 24 volt, like I said. We also have this screw on, screw. it's actually a screw hole that you can actually adjust the uh, amps. Um, like I said, we really don't like people messing with those, you know, but uh, pretty much once they're set, you set it and forget it. That's pretty much it. Um, down here is the cell. Um, this is a 24 volt cell. Um, it is spring loaded. Um, we've had great success with that uh, for freezing applications. Unlike most of the cells out there, if they're a mold injected cell, you're going to have a problem with that in the freezing aspect. I've actually had several different mold injected cells and uh, you get them cold and they will crack and they leak. Ours will not do that. This technology has actually been around a long time. They use it in fuel cell uh, designs for the last like 50, 60 years. So we thought we'd just stick with it. It's been working very good for, for us. So this is the box. Um, we always on all our trucker boxes, we have what we call ventilation uh, openings. This one here is for the air to actually come out. <clears throat> and then of course on this side is where the air comes in. And uh, these are heavy duty metal. I mean, nothing's gonna happen to that. It actually ventilates in there. So air, fresh air sucks in from the bottom, <clears throat> goes in through the unit here, as you can see. And then of course, comes out through the top. So I thought I'd do a video on this box. Um, like I said, this is a 24 volt application. We're doing these in Australia, UK. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, we're having great success with our units. Um, been out there with over 200,000 miles on some of the applications and they're still working good. So I just thought I'd do a video on this and uh, I'll talk at you guys later.